um, really happy, so pleased to be here with um, Elias and, and Mascarem. And we're really grateful to them for, um, for coming all this way and rushing from New York where our show just opened yesterday. Um, uh, and, and we'll have some time to talk about that, that, op that opening and, and what's in the show. But um, I wanted to just get a real sense, since I know a lot of you might not be familiar with Elias's work, uh, the trajectory of the career and some of the concerns that have been um, carried throughout the career, which uh, for me tend to be a deep interest and in, 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 in intentional involvement with materials. And Elias, I wonder if, if um, through Mescarem you could tell us what that constant fascination with material is and has been through your career. Um, it's easy to say that it's feelings, emotions. The, the big thing for me is the work that I paint, the, the, what I say about my art and the kind of work I do. You know, uh, that's what I go for. What would express my work? How could I best express my ideas? And what kind of material can express my ideas? I I started collecting material before I even um, went to the art school. But the, um, I started working with those material that I collected after I graduated from the art school. Mm -hmm. And so tell us about then what made, what made you decide to go to art school? What was it? Let me know some good art school I made. Look, what that's the tone, me some on a group when you're young, there are things you feel. Mm -hmm. You want to be educated. How am I going to express my love? I think that's, that's, that was a big thing. Artist mm Mohonin. -hmm. Although I'm, I didn't know that I was an artist, I had love for art. I believe that everyone is an artist. Even as we are growing up, we, even the food we eat has different colors. And I think we all um, ha see art through that. That's how we all began. We touch it, we smell it, we eat it. Maybe our choices, how we choose those colors, is probably how we're different. Some become scientists with that. Some study the earth. Uh, the Some go to medicine. But we grew, we all grew up looking at different colors and mixing them and and and, and working, living with them. Probably that's why we have emotions for us, art, or how the, why we understand or why we like it. Probably that's because we, it's, it's part of who we are as, as, as people. 
ይሄ ልኩበት ምክንያት ይሄ መስለኛል አንደኛ ዕውቀት ምን ያህል ምን አዲስ ነገር አለ እዛ yeah that's probably why i went to school you know i just want to know what else can you do with these colors what else can you do with this with these things that i grew up with that's probably mm-hmm. what happened and this was university of addis correct you know school of fine arts and how did you find uh, the instruction there as far as what you were expecting and things that that might have uh, not sat well with you or not made sense to you mindi saginyo tibrit kegaba bohala astesete wens zay neberu tuneta mindin neber kegaba bohala kegaba bohala yaw and na and ulet zamr Yeah, the, what we studied was like what plus one is two. I mean, it's like. Yeah, na na gin chalo. I I got that. Makniyatum kazao chigun ya ginyo thang garan dalam. I don't think there was anything more than that that I got from the art school. Ani mi masle mi masle me fataram alab dana. Look at the minda thang agar kuz. I also believe that you ha- also have some a kind of uh, nature versus nurture. There's there has to be a certain part of your nature that also wants to to do art. ሁሉ ግዜ ይሄ ሁሉ ቤት ሰብ ይመስለኛል ልጁ አንድ ነገር እንዲደርስለት ይፈልጋል Every family want their children to become something ይሄምን አልባት ብዙ ቦታ የሚይዘው ወይ ዶክተር ወይ ሎየር እንዲሆን ነው የሚፈልገው Most families probably want their children to become doctors or lawyers ያን ማግኔት ከባድ አይመስለኝም ግን ፍላጎት ግን በጣም ወሳኝ ነው Then what being any of those professions is not the most difficult thing the most difficult thing is wanting to be to be that mm-hmm. so yeah i wanted to be an artist right good and i read somewhere that uh dirt was still um a, an issue in art school and that uh mm-hmm. and for those of you who um, are unfamiliar with this history the dirt was a socialist regime that um occupied uh Ethiopia until 1991 uh that had a very particular um arts program and this was still pretty mm-hmm. much in place at at school when um Elias was was there so can you just tell us just a little or as much as you want about that episode der der gedeber atem testem betemark bekize beder gize temarko na bezan gize nebero huneta andet nebero aw der gedebera የዛን ጊዜ አብዮት ምንለው እየተከታተለ ነበር ግን እኛ የምንሰራው ያው ያንን ዜማ ያዘመረ የዘመረ ነው yeah there was a dirk and there was the communist era and there was uh, when when i went to school yes um, it, it, it there was a revolution and when we studied art in the school we were actually doing the chorus of what we were we were asked to do so we were singing along with that um with the sound of the of that era oh i'm a fucker it's a fun yes i did uh, uh i did do graphic uh, slogans yeah portrait is that right you do you make portraits <coughs> of lenin's mark lenin's the, the lenin and the marks Mm-hmm. We actually studied by heart and how to do their drawings perfectly. No might mass for the good. We didn't didn't even have to look at it anymore. We can do it just without even looking at their faces. Yeah, that we did in school. Yeah. And did this change your idea or shape your uh, desire um, to engage with realism in any way? That is to to model your work after um images out there or uh what did it actually push you further into abstraction um isu wede realistic ho no srachin tarag fafto hallo ikazas bohala wede abstraction wasale mindinna realistic yeminnayon no adel yeminnemenyo yeminnesara aw realistic yemejemra gizayatoch betale um yeah realistic is something that yeah we did uh, we did the uh, you know you, you you did what you see mm-hmm. and that's what we were taught but um 
after I finished art school, uh, I didn't go to do uh, a, a different kind of job. You know, I didn't. I didn't try to do something else. Oh, mm -hmm. I, I did art. Gun painting is But I never, never done a painting. And the chair. And the chair, I was just reminded of the one painting that he did, sorry. Um, but yes, um, yes, he did do one painting after he graduated. Mm -hmm. uh, I like touching the material I'm working with. So, uh, so, uh, so, don't people want to touch people? Uh, when we're in a group, we get some warmth, mm -hmm. uh, some discussion. Uh, we, we actually exchange different ideas when we're together. I like to select material that people have touched mm -hmm. for so, one reason or another. That's the kind of material I like to convey my ideas mm -hmm. with. So in a way, this is a type of realism um, in, in the way that I'm thinking of that, is that there are these objects that you're very invested in, you know, with their tactility, but also with a certain type of history, which uh, then provides us a different type of material um, realism, I guess, if you want to call it that. But then. What, tell me more about this, this idea that you mentioned earlier about feeling, feeling that is attached to objects. Okay, let me explain one thing. There is a button right here, for instance. If we have 10 clothing, one or two of them probably has buttons on them. This button touches your body. You're, you're touching it all the time. So there is that, that touch that humans have been touching that. It actually, the, the, this. This expresses my feeling. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the way I think is, the first day you touch that button, the first day you touch that button, when you're putting on your new clothes, the first day but that you had that clothes, you look at yourself in the mirror, you see how beautiful it is, how, how good you look in it. Then you, you, you button it and you unbutton it. I think about that one, for the, that immediate first love. I like to think about those moments. When I collect those buttons, I, I want, that, that's, that's how I want to see people sharing. Love. You know, it talks about love. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's get into this collection then, because I, it's. Um, I, I hear it's epic. It's, you have an epic collection of buttons and other materials. Um, tell me where you keep them. Tell me how you store them, uh, how you arrange them. Um, what's your collecting practice in that way? Unfortunately, from Taragacho, I've been so busy with them. Unfortunately, from Tostacho, I didn't have time to meet Acho. And they know. Let's hunt him and then I can go. Like you know where you put your money and how you, how you're careful about mm -hmm. the way you put your money. Yes, mm -hmm. you know, so I, I feel exactly that way. I put them in a very respected place, mm -hmm. uh, and I and I put them very uh, nicely and orderly. Mm -hmm. Do you label them? <coughs> I separate them. Mm -hmm. Uh, I even separate uh, female buttons and male buttons, for instance. Especially the Then the colors, I separate mm -hmm. the colors. Then it puts me into a research mode. Mm -hmm. 
ብዙም ያስከፋም ነገር አይደለም ምክንያቱም በጣም ያቋንቋል ሌላው እንደ ማግኘት በጣም ያቋንቋል ሌላው ለሚ the more the more you learn about the buttons the more you want to learn about the buttons and then there is like there's a whole history associated with the buttons mm-hmm. where they were I can continue for where they were made because usually mm-hmm. talks about this a lot where they were made right. how who made them which mm-hmm. factory they were made and mm-hmm. the kind of material they mm-hmm. are what era what and what happened during that time that this button was made what happened in that century or in mm-hmm. in that moment of history and it's just every button has a story of mm-hmm. its own gen betam igermachu kekelfu yiluk ye የየየ ሚሊተሪ ኮልፎች የሚባሉ አለ from the buttons collection there are this military buttons for instance ጊዜውንም ሰዓቱንም ሁሉንም ይነግራሉ they give you all kinds of the military history mm-hmm. ያ በጣም ያራመዳል የተወሰነ ደረጃ it moves you to the you know it, it, it moves you to to the um uh, the kind of artwork you do ኢትዮጵያ ውስጥ ምን ጊዜ ገባ for instance for in ethiopia when did uh, somebody can't come here what, when did this military buttons come in mm-hmm. you know sometimes they tie in military buttons or the um, whoever you know whoever but but like they just take a bomb you know the buttons that came in my hands yeah maybe if we can look at one of the works um, does this one i'm not sure if this one or maybe we should turn to the Uh, just to you know i think we should discuss then how you choose then to move that historically um, weighted object like the button we can start with the button and kind of move on to other objects that you collect how that then figures into the logic of of the work itself and what you want that work to communicate what you decide to share with the audience for instance when they encounter the work is, is it important to you that they know that military history for instance um you know how does that process work from the collection then to the incorporation into the work so you're talking about the audience or um let's let's go let's do the audience second let's talk about first how you incorporate how you choose to incorporate the collection then into into the piece and this are going to in in misali sirawochin in qulfochin nu sinaw sel lemsali military qulfochin nibal ያን እንዴት አድርገነው ወደ ስዕሉ ውስጥ አስቀባው ምንድነው እዛ ፕሮሰስ ላይ ያለው ነገር እንዴት ነው ካንዶ እዛ ምሳሌ ሻክረው እኔ ሂስትሪውን በተከ ዝም ብዬ አይደለም ማቴሪያል መሰበስበው አይ ዶንት ኮሌክት ማቴሪያል ጀስት ፎር ዘ ሴክ ኦፍ ኮሌክቲንግ ማቴሪያል ቆንቆን ወክቱን ይገልጽልኛል ወይ አይ 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 ዶዝ ኢት ዊል ኢት ኤክስፕረስ ዘ ሞመንት ያረመደኛል <laughs> ለምሳሌ በጭቃ ሰራለሁ I work with mud for instance ለምሳሌ ባላስቲክ ሰራለሁ I work with plastic በቁልፍ ሰራለሁ buttons በኤሌክትሪክስ ማለት electronic wires electric ሰራለሁ wood ያንን ያንን ሞመንት እንዲገልጽልኝ ነው I want every material to express that moment the moment meaning the current moment ዛሬ ስለ ቴክኖሎጂው ያወራ today my art talks about technology Early on I was talking about the environment and mm-hmm. the importance of you working with mud. Mm-hmm. There was other, earlier before that I used to talk about love. Mm-hmm. I want to talk about the different things that I am engaged with. Mm-hmm. I don't throw I don't pick it up because they were thrown down. So then what do you how do you choose to communicate with your audience then as they encounter the work and how do you how do you think that will um, sort of convey a message or or do you just expect them to um, get their own uh, or have their own experience with that ndito tamelkachu ndiradda hamitfelgaw ndito kasra gara ligenanyu michilut ndito 
felt. They may walk out feeling like it's the ugliest work. Then I touched it some way in a different way. If they loved it, I, I also caught his emotion too. And if they're, if they're also in the middle, that's also that person. That's what I expect. I expect the audience to feel, to be honest. We, we met because I put the work out to the public. And I, yeah, I like to see the audience's reaction to, to my work. Whatever the reaction is, I accept. Maybe it's a good time to, to turn to the, to the architectural aspect of, of the work also, because I think, uh, you know, with, with this, uh, let's see if we can find. We'll come back to these images. Um, this is part of the, yeah. Your work with mud, with earth, um, and this gorgeous, stunning architectural work that you've been doing for many, many years now. Um, and Meskerem and Elias have been working together for, for more than 20 years. Um, and they've both um, been, been working on this contemporary art center in Addis. And, and if you could just tell us um, how that came about and how you chose uh, the architectural shapes and features of that of that work. So this is architecture in the Netherlands now. This is what we know. So the architecture in the Netherlands now is now. And then we say, "Be chain so so ara, be chain is around this land." I feel like sometimes when I talk about it myself, I feel like I'm I've done it by myself. I'm a tester of Google in Mexico. We've worked with Mascarum together for 20 years. And then the Gze Sinacha will chug bandage to a tester. When you clap with one hand, you don't, there's no sound. <laughs> but with two hands, you have sound. And with three and more, four makes even more sound. I want the audience to understand that. My, the work, the, my, my art expresses all that. I didn't do it alone here, so. There's, there's, for about 20 years we worked together. There's a lot of challenge. But we got here. Sometimes it looks like um, a story when you look at this, this structure, this construction. Or sometimes a child's story. It looks like a child's story house. When we talk about uh, storytelling to a child, we want the child to focus. Then we act, we do everything to get the child's attention. That's how I feel when we do it. It's like telling a story. There's a lot of techniques that was applied in building this house, uh, inside and outside. There's a lot of compositions on it. For instance, maybe I'll, sh I'll share one because it, it mm -hmm. involves all of us. There was one time when I was totally in love. I was, I was in a complete blind love. Um, you know, in the end, we separated. Because 
um, the, the, for instance, in, in, in this house, the composition, mm -hmm. you'll see that moment when I would take a walk because I'm so tensed and so, you know, emotionally high. No. And then when the, what I created there is different and when I walk away from it and then come back and do mm -hmm. the work, I'm calmer and also the work gets calmer. Mm -hmm. So you can see those intensities. One good thing about working with mud is it actually communicates with you. Maybe because you're working with your hand. Because you, you create all these molds with it. It also allows you to, it, it moves in every shape. It, as if I was communicating with the mud. That's how there's part of the house where I actually healed myself through this process. Yeah, it was the mud that helped me. Yeah, so the house has a lot, a lot of mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. feelings and emotions. Sometimes I come. She tells me that this is so ugly. <laughs> Maybe I probably worked so hard on it. I don't worry too much about that. But you know, it takes me to the next mm -hmm. step. Actually, he knocks it down and then he does it again. So mm -hmm. it was. This is why I say it was like telling a story. Sure. A story. What makes you knock a certain portion down? <laughs> What's that? What makes you knock a certain portion down when it doesn't communicate to you anymore? Or but you know, um, tougher so can't get any good to come away. Any negative art, negative room, yeah, come I don't think art will uh, the, co the communication between myself and art will ever stop. I, otherwise, I can't do it. Oh, the good thing that's yeah, come here. Yeah, I, I stop or I change things or I stop when I feel like it has gotten to a certain stage mm -hmm. where construction landscape then I think about how the landscape works with the windows, how do where do you put the windows so the landscape can uh, enter into the house. Mm -hmm. How does this, the morning sun come in? How about the afternoon sun? Mm -hmm. And the evening and the daytime. So all these things are put into a composition of the house. Mm -hmm. um, tell us about just the technical know-how. What, what, what is this made of? What's inside of the mixture? How do you do this? It's the mixture of the it has wood, mm -hmm. it has mud, straw. It has leather. It has leather. It has also wood. Mm -hmm. the, the foundation is stone. Okay. It's similar to how you would construct a house. Mm -hmm. And do you have a team that works with you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I do. Mm -hmm. It's not possible to work this without uh, alone. You have to. Have there, so many uh, that, there are so many work that I haven't even began yet. I haven't started. It's like really being hungry for 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 a nice food. Soon. Mm -hmm. uh, if I don't do all those things with other people, I'll, I'll even miss time. Because I, you know, I, there isn't much more time to go. You know, life has limited time. 
I feel like I want to leave something behind. So this is part of the reasons why you work with other people. So what's going to be, what is the function of this center? What do you both envision this, this doing in the community, um, in the art world at large? Okay, he wants me to tell you this. Okay. Um, it's an art center uh, where we actually do a lot of activities, workshops, mm -hmm. art-related workshops, educational things. Uh, we do video installations there. We sometimes have music, poetry readings. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people come to visit it because they look at it as a sculpture. Sure. In itself, it's one of the most visited places in Addis Ababa. Yeah. Um, and, um, and, and people, architects, come there to understand mm -hmm. different ways of architecture, different mm -hmm. techniques on how to do this. Um, so it has become a center for a whole lot of mm -hmm. activities, international activities, mm -hmm. um, workshops, curatorial workshops that come from here in the US mm -hmm. as well as Europe. Um, and we're gonna we're just about to do a, a book, a artist's book workshop mm -hmm. there Great. with the Smithsonian Institute, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. so we work with the local cultural um, mm -hmm. institutes and and students, mm -hmm. children okay. too. Children. Is there a residency program? We, we used to have a residency mm -hmm. program. We still do, but we take only one artist at a time. Okay, um, and um, it's mostly, f at this point, mostly focused on architecture. Mm -hmm. But we do have, I was trying to find the image to show you, because we're in the middle of building a museum now. Mm -hmm. And the museum has a whole bunch of bridges, because it's in a much larger piece of land. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are now going to open a residency program for uh, international artists to come and build bridges. It's symbolic, we want yeah. to build those bridges. Um, by different artists. So there, were, there are about 30 bridges, small and a little mm -hmm. bit larger, and they'll be constructed. That's wonderful. As such, yeah. And so what will be in the museum? Oh, um, similar activities, but more. This, this, this place has actually a library. I don't have all the images, mm -hmm. uh, but you can, you're welcome to look on the website. Mm -hmm. The, the museum is also going to be made with mud, but with different technique. Okay. Uh, this one has, is mud and straw. Mm -hmm. Uh, and there is actually a way to ferment it, this mud and straw. You don't, you have to ferment it. It takes mm -hmm. about a month to mix it right. with the straw. Um, the other, and also um, there are different ways of soil mixing. So we try to be very loyal to the local mm -hmm. soil and work with a technique uh, for that loyal, to, uh, for that local mud. But the museum is also going to be made with mud with this technique called cob where you don't use wood as a structure. Mm -hmm. um, and it will, it will be three, three, four stories high and up. Mm -hmm. So the museum will have a li full library. Mm -hmm. This one has a small library, but the museum will have a full library. And um, it will have you know, other activities for different experiences, mm -hmm. uh, practices, and temporary exhibitions as mm -hmm. well as permanent collection. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it has, um, it will have your, the traditional Western kind of museum mm -hmm. in, to some extent, but it will also be very unique adapting to the local need. Mm -hmm. So it will also serve both the local and the, the international community. Excellent. Good. So I would, you made me think of, of a question that I wanted to ask Elias um, also about this, the mud being alive. Right, because if it's fermented, it's alive in a certain way. How does that connect up? Maybe you can just talk to us about um, this earlier, but also what I see a continued concern in the environment as such, mm -hmm. and sort of these these deeper issues of um, of life on Earth and what you know what's what's happening in our contemporary setting. So the environment there are two things I, I think about. Sometimes about the environment. 
አንዳንድ ጊዜ ደሞ ባውኑ ሰዓት ያለው የቴክኖሎጂ ደሞ በጣም ፍጥነቱ ደሞ in the speed of technology ምናልባት now today ያለው ያለው ኢነርጂ ያለው የሰው አቅም እንዳይጓድ ልፈልጋለሁ sometimes sometimes i worry about the Uh, the speedy process of technology how much it's taking away from from skill from from our hand skill ምክንያቱም አንዳንድ ጊዜ ስለ ግሪኑ ልክ ነው ስለ ግሪኑ ማሰብ ልክ ነው yes important to think about the green the, the, the technology the, uh, the environment ግን ግሪኑን የሚጠብቀው ሰውንም ያጣ ነው but uh, we also have to take care of those people who keep that green growing uh, I worry about that sometimes when we think about green we think about uh, beauty growth uh, and that green beauty uh, requires love and love requires uh, attention and uh, care tabukun yilal tenkebakebun yilal it takes uh, you know very um, um, very delicate care zari yannin katal if we if we lose that menalbat bewure derecha liyon ichilal maybe we can philosophize about it we can talk about it gin betekbar yesegaw but i worry about its um realisticness technology was too bad and i worry technology is taking that away mm. so the balance uh, is not so there. That, that, that i worry about a little bit uh, this is what i'm trying to say in my, in my it's not to say that uh, technology is not necessary technology is not good is not what i'm advocating mm-hmm. we need the technology but we need to also stop and think ድሮ እዚህ ሀገር የመጣው ጊዜ when i first came to this country በየመብራቱ ሲሳሳሙ አይ ነበር i used to see people kissing at every light stop uh, every traffic stop wow but the, at the light and i used to love watching that ምክንያቱም ንክኪ ነበር there's a lot of touch mm-hmm. ፍቅር ንክኪ ይፈልጋ love requires touching ዛሬ ሰመጣ ግን ትንሽ ቆይት ሄደ ማለት ነው። Then after a few years later when I came recently መሳሳሙን ሙሉ ቀረ። I don't even see those kisses anymore. ኮምፒውተራቸው ይዘው ነው። They're all working with their with their smartphone and they're talking through their mouth. ምን ያህል እንደተለወጠ ቆመ ነው። That's a quick change. That's uh, would not stop you to think about that change. ምን አልባት ወደ ይቅርታ? I'm sorry. What a robot and that below. I'm worried about that we're going to become a robots. Yanin what is that you didn't miss like that? Yeah, that's what I fear. That's what I see. How abran in the job. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's time to think and make noise about that. Mm-hmm. So, then to just round out that concern, uh this work that you've been doing that you're doing now and this this show that's opening and incorporates these really these huge floor to ceiling um massive um uh, works maybe if we could just pull up. like this is one good example it's a huge piece so this is from this year 2017 right yep um which if we had you know a way to enlarge these you would be able to see that these massive works are made up of uh, very small pieces of um different materials but but wires wires Brain, yeah. braided wires and everything uh, when you see it here it looks like a painting right but it's uh, it's not a painting it's actually three dimensional um all every wire is tiny braids and they've all been nailed on so tell us about then that tactility that love you know because you're making this connection between to touch and to love right that process that you're doing with these the the literal aspects of technology which is the wires and the circuit boards and things um and and that process of sort of um inserting in a certain way this tactility into what's normally not supposed to be touched right that's the inside of a of a device asti selezi negarin technology un ke nikiki gara abra yeze 
እነኚህን በጣም ረቂቅ የሆኑ ስራዎችን ስትሰራ እንዴት አድርገው ነው ያያስካቸው? እዚህ ላይ የምናየው but we see here من الوقت لا عندو من ناجر يتشالل انا من توك با وان بيس يعني عندو انت جامد انا every single piece is wire um braided سيجمد when the braids are done بالاس ديس بالاس ديو شالو there's three the three wire braids six wire braids or eight wire braids يعني عندو every single one of them have been wired separately technology mun deza fatatal technology sidi sidi zare nega kenega kenegodia endezi yale betam technology is going so fast and what you see the spread is also the change of the spreads so far to your eyes you can see the speed um, and the variation of of the different i mean the closer you look you can see the variation of the different braids zalay yetelay ye variety lik inde color setunal yes you see you see you see man so this is this different types of braids have given uh, creates different colors so you can see the um, the different colors that are created as a result of this braids sanaqo lik sanaqo no technology betam yefetene yemetaw yeah without us even acknowledging it without us even having time to stop and think it's going very fast knetum yaw wedidde no globalization competition lik no any fitnatu lema aqom adellem minna maasseb way i'm not advocating for the for for technology to slow down gin gap istetaw but it needs a gap eh kalerochu rasacho kalerochu e yegemedochu aynatoch 6 7 8 9 isum no migeltaw that's what this this different uh, braids express that lelaw demo lelaw eh gnininnatachin and the other thing is it's human swar made making those braids i thought you to do on around never get a chance to see the actual work but i'm detailed they're highly detailed na qonjo bemilo no tfet arge ma yaqarra they're they're tasty when you look at it they're 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 you want to look at them again and again technology is amazing the technology is very tasty too it's pretty when you are but yeah, it's it's pretty the way they design the, wow. the laptops and and the yeah. there's so many different things inside it basically no idea on share yeah that's what i'm sharing this idea the, the whole uh, so that's what you see you actually see this being made by humans mm -hmm. from completely transforming what the machine is making with 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 hands mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. great i think we need to turn it over to you guys for some questions um i've been taking up all the time but but please if you have questions hi um my question is a, a couple things the first is about the scale the large scale of of your work and if you were always attracted to large scale pieces and if that's just as important i guess as the subject matter and then the second one is about touch that um are, are people allowed to or encouraged to touch your artwork in an exhibition since you talked a lot about the kind of energy that can be transmitted through materials so uh, scale and touch i guess አንዱ ስለቅደቱ ነው ለምትጠልቅነት ምሰራው ከዚህ ጋር የታዘ ነው ወይ ነው ሁለተኛው ደግሞ ሰዎች ዲረኩት ፈቅዳለ ወይ ስራው ተመልካች ፍሬም ይመጥበት ጊዜ ነክተው ማየት ይችላል ወይ እመጀመሪያ ጥያቄ ስለቅደቱ ለምን ተለቀ ከሁለተኛው ጥያቄ ለነሳው let me start the second question oh man can't touch yes you can touch it man can't gna ichal you can't pull it though man can't na መንካት መፈልገው I actually wanted to be touched ልክ ነው እኮ ስንነት አካረለ ፍቅር ምን ተላል ምን ተላል is it how is that how we pass one love to another by touching በጣም ነው ደስ ያለኝ ጥያቄ I like the question very much አሁን ምን ተካከተ ስለፈልገና yes please touch it ግን መንቀልግ ነው ይቻለው 
ሁለተኛው ጥያቄ ለምን ትልቁ ሆነ ትልቅ እኔ አንድ አንድ ጊዜ አይ ዶንት ኖ በምን መንገድ እንደመገልጾኝ እንደ ትንሽ ስራ ብዙ ያስደስተኝ በትልቁ ስራት እንደ ያስደስተኝ እርግጥ ነው ይሄን የሚያክል ቦታ አይደለኝም ግን እንደ ፓዝል ይገዛጸማል እንደ ፓዝል ይገዛጸማል are done so it works with like puzzle they come together yeah. so that they made in small pieces and they hang them in puzzles mincho ndesu ndemigetatta madam yeah is that is that why we make noise so we can all create this puzzle and connect to create one piece ulet neger alle endezi te tekorartom yisarrabet ulet tilalik pisoch tinanish pisoch hono ne yimetu እንዴት ማለት ተናንሹ ወደ ትላልቅ ነው እዚህ እዚህ መጥቶ የሚገታጠመው የሚወጡት በጣም ትናንሽ ፒሶች ናቸው the pieces are made in like in, in the small 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 blocks uh, i mean the the whole drawing is done in the large piece and then each piece is done separately to create this እኔ እንደውም ይሄ አነሰብኝ ይላል ነው if i could i would have made it even bigger አንተ ዲግሪ በቃ ቶሎ የምስለኛ ቶሎ I don't get enough of this. Let me make it up. Uh coast art don't have a gamble. When you love art from way deep inside. At the give you. You never have enough. And dom uh yetelaye sirawoch inde sara yaregel. It actually encourages you to What, what encouraged me to the, to do more mafqari mesle i think it's because i love so much mekhnetum fikr variety felgal alam and the love wants variety of things yay mesle yal miyagwagwal i think that's why i'm curious and my questions thank you for your talk um you talked a lot about feelings that change over time um and are kind of temporary yet your work is very permanent um there are these you know big strong fixtures i guess i'm curious if you feel that the emotional charge of your work changes over time or is it permanent like the work itself uh <laughs> አንተ ስለ ግዚያዊ ነገር ታወራለህ ምን ስራው ስራ ግን ቋሚ ነው በጣም ቋሚ ነው ያለ ስሜቶች እንሲሏወጡ ይሏወጣሉ ወይ በየጊዜው እንደ እድሜ እድሜያችን እንደሱ አይደል it's like you being human being aging as you age you change um so there is no permanency in አንተ ያለህበት emotions አንተ እኛ ያለንበት ነገር ጥሎ ማለት ነው ያሰበው 10 years ago or what people do 10 years ago zare sotayo when you look at it today from but am reki kul tawtabet ichilalle you probably find all kinds of things in it that are that you don't you know gin tetekkulu yelatu akan but the right thing is that it was at that emotion at that moment how i felt 10 years ago yetetamamawun makkabe what was crooked you, you accept yetekanawunum what was straight then you can accept yanin no makkabe lalleken you know we have to accept it the way it is because it was it was it was true at that moment it was honest if you do it from inside my question i'm really interested in the art center it's really beautiful the little bit that we can see in the photograph What the was art, the, art, the art center? 
What's the inspiration or symbolism for that exterior? It's really beautiful. The Kalisalahacho. Unfortunately, we don't have that photograph right now, but uh, yeah, I, uh, but you've seen them obviously. Yeah, Karochun. Um, Karochun, like, I mean, under the Tharman thing, my own that the video to channel. There are times when I stop when I do certain kind of material for a while. There are the times when I stop. What do you mean? How I, my age? Ten, isn't it? My health. Um, I used to work a lot on those um, no, on the the wires. My, the, my, the early um, wires, um, the early yarns I did were made with large sewing. And then as I was ending it, they were so tiny. They don't even, you don't even think that well, they were done by hand. That's when I stopped. And, and, and my eyes couldn't, couldn't do it anymore. I had to stop. I had to move on to some different material work that I can do. So you want to hear a little bit more about the, the, the yarn? I used to think of the yarn like the buttons. When I, where I grew up, when I was a child, there used to be a market. It was an open big market. Maybe where I grew up probably has a lot of influence to me becoming an artist. Or maybe to, uh, for collecting material that may have uh, like an influence on me. I maybe, maybe, I didn't, I, I didn't know what I was going to become. It wasn't something that I used to think about. But maybe now that I'm thinking, looking back, and I'm thinking maybe that childhood yeah, yeah. Uh, in that neighborhood has something. So the, the, the attachment with those wires, they used to do, uh, they, they were um, sinisters or the uh, um, embroidery people who used to make, uh, I used to see all the different colors that they used to work with. We have also a tradition of making uh, people making uh, stitching and by hand. Maybe it's my upbringing looking at that. What took me to the to that uh, when I first got into the stitches? But then I, I started expressing different feelings on this. And I, I want them to speak. I want them to talk. And for example, um, and, but I'm, uh, there was this is a piece I made about the mountains. Uh, it, it expresses two different things. There was a lot of research put into that. Uh, this is uh, together. We used to go up to the mountains to do an anthropological research in different parts of Ethiopia. I don't, I can't, I don't write it down to express how difficult these mountains were and how hard it was to get from one village to another. The way I was able to express it was by, through my art. This is one of the small stitches and how I was doing that really moved me into making how complicated as I stitch them, I stitch them in a way that you can see it. If I can't speak it, if I don't write it down, if, if my language is my art, I can only express it through my art. That's how difficult it was. The way you see how difficult it was to stitch, that journey was also that difficult. Do we have time for one more? We do. We do. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.